Okay. Our uh, next guest seems to be having a pretty good year so far. First, this man won a Pulitzer Prize for his columns in the New York Daily News. Then he received great reviews for this book right here entitled Table Money. And on Friday, his son is going to be married, so he's doing pretty well. Please welcome Jimmy Breslin. Jimmy. Hi, Jimmy. Nice to see you. How are you doing? Have a seat right there. Yeah, right there. Which one was the cats on? The, the cats were on this one, but that's all been cleaned up. Everything's fine. Just relax. Your word? Yeah, okay. my word. Everything's okay. fine. How you doing? Very well. You seem a little uh, suspicious, a little antsy, well, I mean, a little anxious, a little cats, preoccupied. Lizards? No, I just, yeah. you know, I watch myself. That's Your son's fine. getting married Friday. Yeah, that's one. We're doing very good. You have a lot of kids? We have nine. Mm -hmm. We married one son already, and this is the second. And all nine kids have the kind of jobs that bring these nice, tight smiles to parents, you know? That's good. And, uh, you know, to say what they're doing, they're married. We have the only setup where you have to give the bride's father something to straighten the marriage I don't know out. Even though there's a, a, a shortage of males in New York City, mm -hmm. severe. But uh, with my luck, the boys aren't even likable. Mm -hmm. We've got a family of nine. No, you're laughing. I have... <laughs> We've got enough boys to go around, and it's going to wind up. The only way we got them out of the house to begin with, everybody, daughters, stepdaughters, sons, was you pay the rent on the apartments mm -hmm. for them and other places. Oh, I see. So right? they're, they're not now living with you. No. You've moved them out. No, but now we have, uh, on my way here, I told them I was coming on the Letterman show, and the first thing they said was, hold up our pictures, and maybe we could... Uh, we could meet boys, because there are no boys in New York. At the mm -hmm. same time, I could save rent. Mm -hmm. See if we could meet a so, boy. So these are photos them. of your daughters? Yeah, because the problem is I have this book, which you were so nice to mention, but they think the book was written by Jackie Collins, mm -hmm. and it's like stud or something, and the money's through the roof. <laughs> They're running out spending. So do you want to show these? She's in Glasgow. She's okay. in Scotland. These, are, the, these are your uh, unmarried uh, daughters? This one. Yeah, this is Kelly Breslin. How old, how old is Kelly? She's 21. Uh -huh. 212. Five nine one seven. Now you know what kind of maniacs are going to be calling up here. I, I'm telling. I gave them the phone number. I'm a very truthful person. Go to the next picture. Guy, guys like Julio are going to be calling up. Or... Okay. okay. So that's your daughter. Yes, yes she's a very Kelly handsome Breslin. looking woman. Kelly. She, uh, All right. She does require a certain amount of cash money to keep <laughs> it going. Uh -huh. She called me from Scotland, where I thought it was safe storage yeah. for the summer, uh -huh. and she called and said, you know. Scotland's very expensive. Oh. Scotland. Imagine <laughs> Manhattan. Yeah, okay. All right. Okay, who's next here? Uh, Which one is, where? This is Rosemary Bradley. How old is Rosemary? 28. 28. 212. <laughs> oh, I'm... Do you want to finish this up? We go right through. You know, I'm gonna, that's Emily... Where is this? That's Emily Eldridge. Yep. 212. Six one eight oh. Now let's go to next. My my, what a loving, caring father this man is. Uh -huh. Alerting that's all deadbeats and drifters in a tri-state area. That's his sister, Lucy, who's terrific. Two one two. Six one eight oh. In the plaid. Yep. Okay. Okay. Now, wait a that is now wait. That's an added starter. On my way over here, all the people did was give me envelopes. That's Esther Newberg. <laughs> Nine eight three eight. Wait a minute. All right. Uh, who is this? Carmel Darienzo. She's very lovely, yeah. Man, right? Yeah. Six zero zero seven. Come here. Now, did Jimmy. this come? Wait a minute. Did this come by messenger? Did yeah, it? No. hand delivered. I'm a truthful right. fellow. Right, right. Yeah, look, there's two more see. of them. Two more photos. Can we show these? The, the people are sending. If you stay here long enough, somebody's father's coming over to, from Queens with his daughter's picture. Uh, who's this? The simply is the truth of the matter is that is Kristen Mannion. Uh-huh. Yeah, I give you the number. Wait okay. a minute, here. Yeah. You Four can't, one seven three. You can't do that. Well, I've done it and I'll keep doing it as long as you keep holding up the pictures. All right, we have, we have... I don't know. Her name is Lisa. Call Kristen Mannion, she'll give you the number. That's all I know. <laughs> you can't uh what? No. All right. Well, uh, we'll be uh we're gonna pause here. We'll be back with Jimmy. You can have a stack of them.
I think you could maybe, uh, I think that's illegal to be doing that. I did it. You're showing, showing pictures of women and their I mean, phone numbers wait on a television. Minute. I did that on the way over here, just pictures quick, yeah. Red. Yeah. You want to wait an hour? I'll have them stacked like this. That's, I like that. Now, that could be a weekly feature. There's two, well, easily, there's two major problems in the country. One is race and the other is loneliness. And the, the uh, imbalance between men and women around here is so much it goes down even young people. Yeah. Now, why do you suppose there, there's a shortage of men in New York? I don't know. I guess you could die supporting the women early. That would be one. <laughs> I, but is that true around the country? The, New York is yeah, all over the to, country. You go to all, Chicago. Is the same problem Chicago, there? Chicago, Seattle, go any place. Uh -huh. Pick up any paper and you'll see that the church is running a singles night, particularly mm -hmm. for older people trying to make matches. Mm -hmm. And they don't... Oh, no, I understand older they, people, but, but what and about younger, younger too, people? I, really? I find it. Yeah. Right. Let's talk about the book here. How's it yeah. doing? Table money. Uh, no, not doing as well as, the, as well as it should. Great reviews. It had the best reviews any novel has had in five years. So Maybe, why isn't uh, it selling better? Because they, I wrote a book about alcoholism, and they sat down and treated it seriously, and they regarded it as anthropology. Mm -hmm. I'm writing about a drunk, and they're making it literature. Oh, I see. And I see. So and it scared the, people away. Well, they put serious. The yeah. minute you put serious... You did. I thought the Pulitzer Prize would take care now, of that. Now, that must have helped. It didn't. No. Not worth a thing. Well, no, nice what? honor. What good is that? Yeah, what good was it? No good. My daughter took the check for it, and that ended that. <laughs> now, now I push it. I come on the Letterman Show. Yeah. I, I mean, it's not because I'm here with you. I think you're very smart. I think the show is terrific. I love the audience. I couldn't sell a book out here or through that camera. I don't think you got... <laughs> now, you don't why, have anybody... Is they that? read Cliff Notes if they read it all, right? <laughs> What else are they, what am I going to do? I think so, we have a very well-read audience. Cliff Notes. Oh, you tell them it's a long, serious novel that requires thought and concentration and time. But see, that's our audience. You're, now you're playing right into the strength With of the our audience. Yeah, confetti cannon. <laughs> well. <laughs> I don't think, I don't think I'm doing, and the, the problem is that the kids think that it's a Jackie Collins book. The uh -huh. reviews are so big, everybody thinks it's a major yeah. bestseller. So now what you're saying is this book it gets great reviews, the and best poten ever. potentially it could stiff? Potent not stiff, but according to the standards and the styles of the people around me, mm -hmm. it is not producing what it should. Is it, is it a bestseller yet? No. Just How long has it been out? Close. Two months. Two months. Well, just stay. close. So I think that your appearance tonight on this show is going to give it that shot in the arm that you really... When it comes out in cliff notes for some, no. somebody on the top at some place. <laughs> look, I've got a very tough... Thing, nine kids. I have to, because of the pullets, I have some clout in the office, yeah. right? I have to threaten to quit to get my one daughter a job in the Daily <laughs> News, right? Now the one from Scotland that's over there that says it's very expensive, Kelly Breslin, she's coming home in September, uh -huh. and I have to threaten to quit the news again to get her a get job. Her job. The yeah. trouble is, she can't spell. <laughs> See? Now, it's one thing for her to go on television and say cougar. But you come to the New York Daily News and you write C-O-U-G-E-R, you got a problem. That's right. She can't spell, but I'm going to have to quit and get her a job. Yeah, she needs work. I think it's K-O-U-G-E-R, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know. Where is it? Let me look. Sure. What are we doing? Okay, we'll be right back. Don't worry. <laughs> Go ahead. I want to say one thing. I'm very factual. I said that we got the kids out of our apartment by paying other rents. There's one thing wrong. I have a, a stepson, Daniel, and his mother is going to give the girl our apartment if she'll marry him. Oh, good. That's, I just wanted good to get deal. it started. Right. We'll see you tonight, folks. Bye-bye.